I'm telling the truth. If the only way for me to get a husband is for me to lower my standards, then I guess I'm just not going to be getting a husband. I don't know what to tell you. And I think that's the attitude that a lot of women are having these days. Thank God, finally. So when you get to some certain age, it's normal for people to start asking you questions like, when are you getting married? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you guys planning to get married? Because I just feel like they feel like they have your best interest at heart because they feel like that is the best, that's the next thing for you to do. When you've clocked some certain age in your life as a woman, right? And when you start telling them, okay, this is the kind of, this guy, this is the kind of man that I want to marry. I've not met this type of man. The ones I've been meeting, they cannot meet my standard. And you're, you're telling them your kind of standard of men that you want to, that you would like to marry and they start looking at you as if you are being delulu you are being delusional like you don't know what you're saying you better take what you have now now that you are still at this age because when it gets to some certain age it might be too late for you because you might not be able to see the ones that you're even seeing now anymore <laughs> Okay, I have this interesting video to share with you. She was explaining when her uncle was asking her that when she gets married and all of that, and she was telling her uncle the kind of standards she wants from a man. So let me roll the clip for you all to watch to the end, and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Hey, ladies. So there's another video going around of another man coming on here and telling us that, you know, all of you single women are not going to be able to have a perfect man. A lot of you guys are going to have to settle and just appreciate what you can get and yada, yada, yada. We've heard it all before more scare tactics to convince women to lower their standards uh, or else you're going to die alone and be a cat lady because that's the worst thing in the world um but it just reminds me of a conversation i literally just had with my uncle last week he's visiting from ghana and we're sitting at the table with my dad and he's like you know you're 25 now we got to get you a husband we got to get you a man what do you want so i sit down and i tell him like my vision for like my ideal marriage this is just me this is what i want this is this is how i imagine my married life to be and everything that I say, he's like, oh, you're not going to find anybody like that. You're being too picky. You're being too inflexible, which to his credit, I mean, he might, he might be right. I might be picky and I might be inflexible. That's very likely. I don't care. That's who I am. So he's like, I got this man back in Ghana. Like you, he, he would marry you, but he not going to do all of that. Like you're not going to want all this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh yeah, well then I don't want him. If, if he's not going to be this, if I'm not going to be able to have this, then I just don't want it. And he's like, yeah, but this husband will be better than the one that you got <laughs> a key 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 and exaggerated laughter because i don't have a husband and to him it would be better for me to have this husband than no husband at all so i let him get his little laughs out and i was like i mean that might be the case if i didn't enjoy my life i think that that would be accurate if i hated my life yes but i really like my life i really enjoy it the way that it is right now and as much as i would like to add someone into it i would love that i would love to be booed up i'm not willing to just take anything just because just because he wants me that's not enough it might be enough for you it might be enough for somebody else but like in my opinion if it's not gonna be what i want then i don't want it i don't need a husband just for the sake of having a husband that doesn't mean anything to me that don't do nothing for me so if it means that i have to be alone then i'll just gotta be alone i don't <laughs> i don't understand what's the confusion and he genuinely did not believe me like he gave me so much pushback on this but i'm telling the truth if the only way for me to get a husband is for me to lower my standards, then I guess I'm just not going to be getting a husband. I don't know what to tell you. And I think that's the attitude that a lot of women are having these days. Thank God, finally. So now we're seeing an influx of men coming on here saying, you're going to have to settle. You're going to have to. You're not going to be able to get what you want. Baby, then so be it. They used to say, you need to choose better. Now we're choosing better. And it's okay, if you keep trying to choose better, you're just going to end up alone. Well, then so be it. The only ones scared to die alone are y'all. We good. Let us be. Hello my people and welcome back again to another interesting video. How are you all doing today? Are you doing good? It's your favorite girl, Mara David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. I know that when you come, when you get to a certain age, as I said earlier, the elders in your family, your friends, especially, it might not even really truly be your parents. They might be your parents' friend. They might be your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, the, the elder ones. And to start telling you you have to pick one right now because guess to a stage whereby you will not see these people and again when you not tell them your standard i don't know why they like to advise women to settle for what they see but they will not advise men to up their game 
I don't. I have never seen them advising men to up their game. It is always the women that have to settle for what they are seeing at the moment. So even if you are not okay with that kind of standard, just settle because it is what it is. I have interesting reactions to share with you all. Let me roll some clips for you all to watch to the end, and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Here and telling us that you know all of you single women are not going to be able to have a perfect man. A lot of you guys. I had this exact conversation with my family friend a few weeks ago. We were all at dinner and he turns to me and he's like, Jania, you're a 30 and single sort of, um, how's dating been for you? And I was like, oh, easy, trash. Like, do not recommend. It's not good out here. I don't know where my husband is, but I don't think he's in New York. And then he wants to know why. He said, oh, well, can you give me an example? Like, what are you looking for? What's been going on with dating? And I was like, sure. So the first thing I list is that uh, a lot of guys I've been like going on dates with and talking to, whatever, they've really wanted me to mother them. And that's not something that I'm interested in. And right away, he goes, do you know why a lot of black men need to be mothered? It's because um, they were raised by single black moms. And I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? And he goes, yeah, uh, because they were raised by single black mothers and those mothers failed to make sure that they had a strong black role model in their life they've sort of failed their sons and now their sons are growing up still needing to be mothered. And I was just like, what are you talking about? I'm like, if anyone, I'm like, if anyone in this story has failed, it's probably the dads who didn't stick around, right? Those fathers. I feel like you're thinking like these women spawned their own children, but like there was a, a strong male role model in the picture at one point, right? And he fully was like, no, it's the moms who should have done that. Like if the father left, like it, you know, it is what it is. It should be on the mom to make sure that their kid is still raised by uh, a strong black male. And I was just like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. But I let it go. And then eventually we come back to the topic of dating again. And he goes, well, what are you even looking for? Like, you're probably so picky. And I start listing like things that I feel like everybody wants, right? I'm like, I just kind of want to fall in love with my best friend. would love to have like, you know, similar values, same sense of humor, religious, want someone yeah, who's my best friend? Uh, and then I start mentioning like nice to haves, right? I'm like, and ideally would be a high income earner and well traveled. And he goes, well, that's why you're single. Like, that's it. That right there. You want someone who makes more money than you and who travels more than you travel? Like, you're not going to find that. Like, why would, you know, you travel all the time. You want someone who's been everywhere. That's not even going to be fun for you if someone's already been all over the world. And I was like, what are you talking about? I just said I wanted a high income earner and well traveled. I didn't say how much money I wanted them to make. I didn't say how well traveled I wanted them to be. You're just trying to find another excuse. And then he starts saying how black men don't really travel. And like, he knows this for a fact. And I was just like, I know for a fact that they do though. I'm like, I've dated black men. The only men that I've ever seriously dated have been black men. And they've all been high income earners and well traveled. So... And then he's like, oh, I didn't know that. And then turns to my brother and goes, are you well-traveled? And my brother is older than I am. And he's like, yeah, like I, I am well-traveled. And then he's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. And then the conversation ended after he was like, well, like, I think, I still think your expectations are way too high and like, you better be happy being single. And I think he thought I was going to be like her or like, I don't know, but I was just like, I am. Don't worry about it. I am like very happy right now. My life is great. Visiting from Ghana and we're sitting at the table with my dad and he's like, you know, you're 25 now. We got to get you a husband. Go watch that video for context. I'm not recapping anything here. So as men, we know that we are not taught to value life experience in women and we are not socially shamed for not valuing it. In fact, it's not just that we don't value those things because you can see something as a nice bonus that you don't otherwise value. Rather that... There's actually a hope that it's not there. Why? Because under the patriarchy and the system that men view women according to property rights and that you gain property when you gain a woman under that system, experience is bad. Job, travel, education, relationships, any of that history is bad. Why is it bad? Because it doesn't really serve your purposes. Your purposes are to find someone who is tabula rasa as much as possible, someone who fits into your standards and will shape themselves to fit what you want them to be. And that's hard. You know that's hard if they have life experience because they're a whole damn person whose entire life history up to that point has informed 
how they think and also the standards that they hold for themselves and what they would want in a partner. You don't want them to have any standards that you don't agree with. You want to be able to set the standard. You want to be able to control that standard. So life experience becomes damage and under property, the property being too damaged, you're just uninterested in it. And you, as the man going to the women in your lives and saying, hey, listen, this is just the way it is. You, you got to fit into this. You're agreeing with it. Or if you're not agreeing with it, you're at least saying that you're giving up. You're waving the white flag. Because your idea is that you somehow are the protector of the women in your lives, but you don't want to have to actually protect them. Because you're not hoping that somebody will jump on and physically harm the women in your lives so that you have a chance to jump in and stop the man. At least I hope that you don't think that. But since you don't want that to happen, you train the women in your lives. Hey, don't dress like this. Don't go to these places. Stuff like that. Why? So you can offload that responsibility onto the women in your lives, but still say that you would be a protector if it ever happened. Meanwhile, what your job really is as a protector is to fight the negative ideologies and policies in the world that would harm the women in your lives because that actively happens every day. It's happening right now, literally as I'm saying this to you. But you don't want to fight that fight. I'm not sure what you think a protector is, but a protector is not somebody who only decides to protect somebody if they care enough to do so because it looks good for them. That's not a protector at all. So you either need to roll up your sleeves and go talk to other men and say, this person that's important to me is also important, period. They have absolute moral value that you will not wipe away because of some stupid idea of a sexual marketplace that you should never use that term, ironically. You either have to do that or you have to at least say that, yes, this is the way the world is, the way sh the world should be, and I am not going to support you. Either way, you know what? At least for now, I'm giving you permission to give your arm a rest. I would love to be booed up. I'm not willing to just take anything just because. So thank you to this creator for having this conversation and being transparent and honest about what um, her standards are and what her expectations are. And this is not a shot at her. But I seriously have a question, particularly for Black women in the black community that are single, unmarried, not interested in being married. This is just a genuine question to maybe create a genuine dialogue amongst us. At what point is what you want more important than the needs of our community? So let me break this down. A lot of times when I hear many of my single friends or people that are not getting married or people on this app talking about what they will and not won't settle for that they want someone that meets everyone on their list i do understand that and there should be standards and things on your list of people being ethical and respectful and um giving and kind like basic moral traits that everybody wants in a person but when you hear so many women talk about vain expectations that they put on men or idealistic visions or imaginations that they have of their particular husband that can be detrimental to the needs of our community as it stands right now currently there are so many broken black families there are a ton of single mother-led families there are many single women, many unmarried women, many. And I just want to ask, where do you think that leaves our community in the next 50 years? If we have an entire generations like Gen X, older millennials, millennials, Gen Z, if we have all of these women talking about how they're decentering men from their lives, not wanting to have children, having exceptionally higher standards than necessary because they don't want to settle for someone. When at the end of the day, people settle for each other. They make concessions. They agree that I'm happy and content with this. This person is enough for me. 
just where does that leave our community in 50 years? There will be no community. There will be no more families. There, black, the black community already has so little wealth, so little amounts of land, so little families. Some of the highest divorce rates across race in the United States of America. Ex extraordinarily high um, out of wedlock rates for birth. And I'm just trying to see how this all plays out. And I'm not trying to call people out or make them feel bad for wanting what they want. But at some point, especially as black women who are now old enough that we're taking the reins of our community, right? Um, at what point can we collectively stand and agree that while situations with relationships and particular types of men may not be perfect, what we're doing is not for us. When are we gonna start thinking again about prioritizing our community, the impact of our com the impact of our community, the needs of our community above what it is that we want right now? Because honestly, you learn and grow in love with someone. Like you can learn to love anyone. You can learn to grow and be fruitful with anyone. Like, so creating unnecessary expectations on another individual person to meet before you deem them worthy enough to be in a relationship with, to take seriously, to get in a committed relationship, to get married, to have a family. Like at what point, like you just have to choose someone that you're willing to bet on and take it the distance. Like the choice of having a relationship and a marriage and a long lasting partnership and all these things that most women want really lies in the power of the women. So if you don't have that relationship, you have the power to change that. But at what point is what the needs of the community and the future needs of generations going to be more important than what it is that we want. But long. Well, then so be it. Only one scared to die alone are y'all. We good. Let us be. But let's have a really candid discussion about this. This creator has some very good points in her video, and I love that. But I also think that I don't know. Men, do you think we're bluffing? Do you think that we will not choose the extinction of our race over continuing to be treated like we're only here to serve you? I feel like, I feel like that's a real thing that we are demonstrating. Like more and more women are choosing to be single instead of accepting even the bare minimum from men. Am I, am I wrong? I would, ch I will choose the extinction of our race over the bar being on the ground, you know? If we're going to be thinking about community all the time and not think about ourselves, <laughs> how long would that last? Because the creator that I was talking about, we need to think about community, da 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 da. Just pick somebody and just you you will grow in love with the person. You will you both of you will understand each other later on. Do you know the kind of suffer some women go through just to go through that route? Just because they decide that, okay, this is the standard of a man that I want. But then they, they were like, okay, you know what? Let me just settle for this one that I have. I'm going to grow with him. Example, there's some women that love luxury. They love women, men spending on them. They love that luxury life and all of that. They meet a man and you just have potential to to probably get rich someday but at that point it doesn't have money it's just okay like average on the average level and they're like okay you know what let me just settle for this one hopefully in my head hopefully he might you know get rich someday let's just say 
luckily for them they call rich do you know what these men do they leave the women that that grew with them they start treating them anyhow they leave them and go out there to spend the money on the ones that were not there when they had nothing women have suffered so much to settle down for men and to settle for something that is not in their standards at all because at the end of the day they are the ones that end up regretting it they're the ones that end up being hurt so when a woman is coming out to say that she has hyped a standard this is kind of standard she wants if not she's not going to get married because there's no point respect that <laughs> okay anyways let me know your thought about this video down in the comment section if you still here put your thought down in the comment section so for me i feel like young women or ladies that want to get married know your standard and do not change or settle for anything it's better to be alone by yourself knowing that okay i didn't lower my standards for anything than trying to lower your standard and enter a relationship with someone at the end of the day you start regretting that why did i even lower my standard in the first place because most of the time you regret your decision so why would you want to do that to yourself because most people that decide to settle and listen to those advices that you have to settle da, 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 there's no good man the kind of man that you want is not out there you're just being delusional is a lie the kind of man that you want is out there and it might get time it might get a very long time before they get to you but eventually it might get to you and if it doesn't get to you enjoy yourself enjoy the moment enjoy what you're doing now try to get or be like do not live your life like i must get married or i must have children just live your life the way it is so when it comes it comes yes you embrace it if it doesn't come you're still happy regardless because if you start putting your mind on that you might lose out in a lot of things a lot of things you're supposed to enjoy at a certain age you will lose out of it because you're like okay this is what i want this is what i want to achieve da, 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 da. it comes it doesn't come you're living your life and it's just, yes we will keep i will keep talking about the century men and you know remove them out of your life censor your life first think about yourself first put yourself first think about your happiness first before you think about someone else happiness and just decenter them so when you decenter them you're not even thinking about you know all those things all you think about is yourself how to make yourself happy things to make yourself feel good and all of that so yeah that's just my own take but then let me know your thoughts and opinion and suggestion down in the comment section and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell and get notified once i upload another interesting video like this one and of course i'll see you in my next one bye